Hello once again and welcome back. So I'm coming back to you with a potential fix for the drifting pro controller problem. This is a problem I went into detail in my last video, so if you want to get up to speed, check that out please. But basically, brand new pro controllers out of the box are drifting downwards and to the left, making games like Luigi's Mansion and Animal Crossing annoying to play because your character will drift um, when you're not giving any input to the left stick. So the potential solution um, I'm calling it a potential solution because it doesn't seem to be working for everyone, but the steps are pretty specific. So here's a video. Hopefully it works for you. It seems to be working for me, but it was given to me by, um, Ivan Alvarez, sorry, Ivan Alvarez on YouTube. So thank you very much, Ivan, for this. And he gave me a link to a Reddit post by user Agnor underscore Tor. So I'm not sure if he's the one that originally came up with this or if he got it from somewhere else, but that's where I'm getting it from. So Credit goes to those wonderful people that are helping me out. Um, so here's the um, procedure. So they say to do this undocked, but I'm doing it docked um, and it seems to be working um, so that I can capture it and show you how to do it. But you want to be connected um, by Bluetooth, not by USB. So I'm connected wirelessly with the new Pro Controller. I'm going to go down to the Calibrate. Oops calibrate control sticks and show you that it's not working very well click on the left stick see that there's a big drift off center to downwards and to the left very annoying problem to have but anyway here's the here's the solution so the first thing you're supposed to do is restart the switch by holding down the power button go to power options select restart I don't know how important this really is um, I think you could probably skip this step, but I'm just doing what they're telling me to. I did it once already without doing this and it seemed to work, but this is the procedure that seems to be working. So here you go. Restart the switch. Now I'm going to reconnect my controller. It'll wake up. There it goes. So now we're going to go down to the calibrate control sticks. Click in the left stick. So now you want to center the stick. Now go to calibrate. So before we couldn't even get through the calibrate, um, the calibration process, but here's what you want to do. You want to go to the right and then, then center it again. Use the stick and like make it go back to center. And then with any luck, we'll get through this. Some nice slow circles. Calibration complete. That's great. Further than we got before. So now you're going to go to here, then press B till you get to this point here. And then you want to hold the sync button on the controller. So hold that for a couple of seconds. The lights are going to start flashing on the controller because now it's not synced anymore. Now I'm going to use my other controller, my GameCube controller to go back to the home screen. And then let's see what's next. Go to controllers. Change grip order. So now my pro controller should repair. So now it's repaired back onto the newly, hopefully fixed calibrated pro controller. We're going to go down to back to the calibration screen, click in the left stick and there you go. Flipping back to center. So that's pretty great. Let's check the right stick. The right stick works fine too. So I don't, I don't really get it. I don't understand what the problem is or why this works, but it seems to work. Um, now it seems to go back to being bad if you like unpair the controller and repair it. So just as a little test, I'm going to put my switch to sleep. My controller went off. Now I'm going to re uh, awaken the switch with my pro controller. So there it is. And let's just see, let's make sure that it's actually still fixed. Calibrate control sticks, left stick, still fixed. So I was able to unfix it by unpairing the controller, like at the change grip order screen again and reconnecting it a couple times. And even if I go to back to default settings, like this is gonna reset the calibration it's still fixed. So again, I don't, I don't get it. I'm going to check the right stick again. Still good. 
One more time, I'm gonna sleep the switch. Reawaken it with my Pro Controller. And back here again. Oh no, look at that. It's broken again. I wonder if I, I wonder if that's because I reset the, um, reset the stick. So let's try, let's try this one more time. I'm going to calibrate it again. I might have just learned something here. Don't, don't do that because that seems to be a bad idea, which you would expect, I guess, to reset it, all your work. Okay, now I'm going to unsync it. Doing the process over again now because that was silly. Now I'm switching to my GameCube controller. I'm going to go back to controllers, change grip order, let my controller repair, and let's hope be fixed again. Wouldn't that be great? Left, and it's fixed again. What do you know? So don't uh, don't go back to default settings. That's what I've learned. I'm gonna sleep it again because it didn't work that last time. So I'm going to awaken it. Calibration with the controller was interrupted. Okay, still fixed. I don't know. That seems to work mostly. Just uh, just do it. <laughs> Hopefully it works for you. I really hope it does. It's super annoying to buy a new controller and have it not work. So hopefully this can get your controller working. Then just leave it paired. Try not to unpair it. You might have to do this again. I don't know. Hopefully a fix comes out from Nintendo shortly and we won't have to worry about this anymore. So I hope that helps. And uh, good luck. Happy gaming.